the Mitsubishi scoreboard and the Port Melbourne a goal. Tell you what, uh, Rex, by the same token, the Port Melbourne halfbacks back line is standing fast. Uh, yes, Dermot is a very experienced player and Cooper has surprised me with his lack of inches and portly uh, uh, comp composition out there. He seems to be taking a very experienced role in defence. Fremantle is the player now to uh, come in with the uh, kick or is it late Laidler? Laidler from the half uh, forward line. He's gone for the short pass with a player dropping in short. That is uh, this time Gibb. So Gibb from uh, out in the left forward pocket has the opportunity to score. The wind should drag this in. As he lines them up pretty deliberately kicking towards the city end of the ground. Kick on its way. Look at it screw around. Man, not a bad one either. There are two goals on the board, Coburn. McKeevens would like to introduce the filler shave range of shavers by Phillips. The budget filler shave. The deluxe filler shave with three self-sharpening 15 lift and cut blades. And the super deluxe with the nine position comfort control. As you can see, they are very, very good shavers. But so are McEwan's because they've shaved their prices down to $69.99, $119, $139. These two even come with a bonus digital alarm clock. McEwan's. No one shaves more off the filler shave range of shavers by Phillips. Bounce of the ball here and the knockout by Gibb of uh, Coburg. Little Abaya comes in to gain possession. He left foots it out towards the Sydney Road side of the ground. Players bearing in on the ball. This time it's Fremantle coming in. He's nearly offloaded. Gets it back in the direction of his teammate and Halbert. Halbert back towards Fremantle, but it's forced over the line by Abaya. He's been playing with Port Melbourne for quite a while now, the little fellow, Abaya, and uh, doing quite well. Ruckman set themselves, Gibb and Chad Van. Gibb gets the knockout from the ruck. It comes down to be taken away by Mansfield. Mansfield dribbles the ball along towards the centre. Here's Billy Swan getting a push in the back. The umpire called play on. Said he must have staged for it and we'll find Coburg into attack again. Coming up towards the half-forward line. Carter overruns the ball. Comes over into the middle of the pack. The umpire about to blow the whistle. The Swan gains possession. He puts it up, but Halbert comes in to trap it. He's being tackled here by the big fellow Chad Band. No one able to get away with the ball and we see Nimmo gaining possession. Nimmo now goes right across the ground in the direction of Sheldon. Sheldon out here about to be tackled by uh, the Pot Melbourne player Jennings. But the umpire says he was held and uh, the free kick will come to Tullock who came in to join in. So Tullock now from wide of the centre of the ground, favouring the outer side. Looks for the lead from upfield, gets it towards that half forward line. Cooper comes out in front to take the mark in uh, front of Carter. So Cooper... Oh, had the ball knocked away, a 15-metre penalty applied. He's very quick to let the ball go too, I might add, uh, Cooper. On the Mitsubishi scoreboard, we have Coburg 2-1 and Port Melbourne one goal straight. There's the kick from Cooper right up in the centre of the ground now. Up they go. Fitzpatrick went up in the air, failed to take the mark. The opportunity for the Port Melbourne player in Harkins to get away with it. Comes out wide again and uh, taking it away this time is Mansfield. Mansfield with his kick up towards the half-forward line, looking for Tullock. Tullock bearing in on the ball, dodges cleverly and then will play it back towards centre-half forward, looking for teammate in Webster. Webster couldn't get to the ball. Going down to the ground is Allison, and at this stage it will be a ball up. So from centre half forward for uh, Coburg, the ball up to be affected. They've got the advantages of a strong win. The bounce didn't favour Chad Band that time. It's forced to wide and a kick this time by Freeman. Freeman towards centre forward and will pay the mark here. Only about 20 metres out from goal, and it's later. Oh, the umpires uh, brought Dermot right back on the mark here. <laughs> and Laidler holding it up to make sure Dermot can see it. They love that, Rex. Oh, putting on a bit of a show. I think he's just snuck it in, yes. Monet is the finest of all the Impressionist masters. 